Stratos drones captured some stunning aerial footage of Magpie Mine, a well-preserved disused lead mine near the village of Sheldon in Derbyshire, England, in the parish of Ashford in the water. The walled enclosure of five lead mines is a protected scheduled monument. Mid-Derbyshire has a history of industrial lead mining going back to Roman times. The atmospheric remains of Magpie Mine are one of the best places to visit in the Peak District and one of the top industrial heritage sites in Derbyshire. It was the last working lead mine in the Derbyshire ore field and is one of the best surviving examples in the UK of a 19th century lead mine. The mine has a fascinating history spanning more than 200 years of bonanzas and failures, of bitter disputes and fights resulting in the murder of three miners and a widow's curse that is said to remain to this day. The earliest recorded workings at Magpie Mine in the Peak District date from 1740 and the mine was only one of several such ventures working different lead veins in the same area. Right from the start, the miners had difficulty in keeping the workings free from water, but by 1824, a Newcomen-type pumping engine had been erected on the main shaft. This led to the production of 800 tonnes of lead in 1827, a record that remained unbroken until 1871. For years, Magpie Mine was troubled by disputes with the neighbouring mines over who had the right to work each vein. Miners from Magpie Mine and Maypit Mine were both working the Great Red Soil vein and would light fires underground to smoke each other out. The arguments raged for years, both underground and in the courts. In 1833, three Maypit miners were suffocated by fumes from fires lit by Magpie Miners and 24 Magpie Miners were put on trial for their murder. Several were freed immediately and eventually all were acquitted because of the difficulty in identifying the individual culprits, as well as the provocative actions of the Maypit miners themselves. It is said that the wives of the murdered men put a curse on the mine, and the effect of the disputes was to ruin the mine, which closed in 1835. In 1839, John Taylor, the famous Cornish mining engineer, was brought in to reopen the Magpie Mine, which now incorporated the Great Red Soil Working. He introduced a number of innovations, including steel borers, safety hats, safety fuse, and iron winding ropes. He also introduced a more regular pattern of shift working and payment for his workers, some of whom had come up from Cornwall with him. He deepened the main shaft to 208 metres and also installed a 40-inch Cornish pumping engine. When this proved inadequate, he proposed to replace it with a 70-inch engine, but the proprietors could not agree. Some felt that a sow a drainage tunnel would be a better solution, and appeals to the Duke of Devonshire to adjudicate fell on deaf ears. Various attempts were made over the next 30 years, but it was not until 1873 that construction of the sow started. It took eight years to drive from the River Wye near Ashford in the water to meet the main shaft, a distance of two kilometres. It was the last major sow driven in the Derbyshire ore field, and still discharges four to six million gallons of water per day. Production of lead continued on and off into the 20th century. An optimistic report in 1913 promised reserves of 4 million tonnes, which attracted businessmen from Sheffield and Glasgow to join forces with Edgar Garlick, the owner. Their venture closed in 1919, and although Garlick reopened the mine in 1923, he went into liquidation the following year. Nothing then happened until after the Second World War, when Waihe Investment and Development Limited attempted to work the mine using submersible electric pumps. A new winder, in reality, a ship's winch fitted with a diesel engine and a steel headgear were installed. Despite this more sophisticated equipment, no large body of ore was found, and with the end of the Korean War and the fall in the price of imported lead, the mine closed for the last time in 1954. In recognition of its national importance, Magpie Mine was listed as a scheduled monument in 1974.